Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through Trigger Finger. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash Trigger Finger or in the orthopedic section of the Zero to Finals surgery book. So let's jump straight in. Trigger finger is a condition that causes pain and difficulty moving the affected finger. It's also known as stenosing tenosynovitis. Let's start with the pathophysiology. The flexor tendons of the fingers pass through several tunnels called sheaths along the length of the fingers. In trigger finger, there is a thickening of the tendon or a tightening of the sheath. This prevents the tendon from smoothly moving through the sheath when the finger is flexed and extended. And this results in pain, stiffness or a catching symptom. The most commonly affected part of the sheath is the first annular pulley, called A1, which is at the metacarpophalangeal joint, or the MCP joint. There may be a nodule on the tendon. When the finger is flexed, the nodule is outside the A1 pulley. As the finger is extended from a flex position, the tendon nodule can get stuck at the entrance to the A1 pulley. This causes the finger to lock or get stuck in the bent position. It may suddenly release with a painful pop or a click as the nodule goes through the pulley. Let's talk about risk factors. Patients more likely to be affected by trigger finger are in their 40s and 50s, women are affected more often than men, and it can affect people with diabetes particularly, more with type 1 diabetes but also with type 2. Let's move on to the presentation. The typical presentation is with a troublesome finger that is painful and tender, usually around the MCP joint on the palm side of the hand, does not move smoothly through flexion and extension, makes a popping or clicking sound and gets stuck in a flexed position. Symptoms are typically worse in the morning and improve during the day. So how is it diagnosed? Trigger finger is a clinical diagnosis based on the history and examination findings. Finally, how is trigger finger managed? The management options include rest and analgesia and a small number of cases will resolve spontaneously, splinting of the finger, steroid injections and surgery to release the A1 pulley. If you like this video, consider joining the Zero to Finals Patreon account, where you get early access to these videos before they appear on YouTube. You also get access to my comprehensive course on how to learn medicine and do well in medical exams, digital flashcards for rapidly testing the key facts you need for medical exams, early access to the Zero to Finals podcast episodes and question podcasts which you can use to test your knowledge on the go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.